Today I am going to go over several Web 2.0 tools that will enhance creativity and innovation in your courses and then this will spark a passion for your content area within your students. If you want to view the sources in a different format, you can visit my Padlet, padlet.com slash K-O-F-E-L-D-T-C backslash creativity. Before we go into the tools, I kind of wanted to introduce Web 2.0 or review it with some of you. A simple definition of Web 2.0 is the Read Write Web. Originally, the internet was a place to locate information, mainly a read-only web. As the internet slowly changed, Websites were developed that let people write, collaborate, and share information, such as Wikipedia and Facebook. We live in a global knowledge-based economy, and according to the Common Core State Standards, students must master vital 21st century skills so they will be college and career ready. Here are the four skills that they must master, creativity, communication, collaboration, and critical thinking. I'm gonna focus on creativity. And why is creativity important? We want to challenge students to think creatively, use a wide range of idea creation techniques, such as brainstorming. I'm going to review a tool that will help you with this brainstorming strategy. We also want them to be able to create new and worthwhile ideas that are both incremental, incremental and radical. We want them to be able to elaborate, refine, and analyze and evaluate their own ideas in order to improve and maximize creative efforts. We want to be able to have students work creatively with others, develop, implement, and communicate new ideas to others effectively be open and responsive to new and diverse perspectives, incorporate group input and feedback into the work, demonstrate originality, inventiveness and in work and understand real world limits to adopting new ideas. We want them to be able to implement innovations as well. We want them to be able to act on creative ideas to make tangible and useful contributions to the field in which the innovation will occur. The reason why I'm listing these is because the tools that I am introducing to you will improve your implementation of these skills in your courses. And how do Web 2.0 and creatively, creativity go hand in hand? Creativity is actually at the heart of Web 2.0. Many of its tools open the doorways to creative, creative creativity by helping students become multimedia content developers. Remember the importance of creativity as you consider these Web 2.0 teaching tools for use with your students. The first tool I'm going to introduce to you is Movely. It's a video creator tool. Here is the website movely.com slash education dash solutions. This is specifically their educator website. It is a timeline-based video editor that comes with a library of images and backgrounds that can be used to easily tell a story. Each of the images comes with animation options that can really bring a video to life. Additionally, users can upload their own images and audio to enhance their projects. The finished product can be uploaded to YouTube, published to Movely, shared on Facebook, downloaded, or shared through email. This tool will be great for digital storytelling, for creating flip classroom videos, or for creating informative narrative or persuasive video projects. Utilizing Movely to unleash creativity. Let's take a look at what Movely looks like. So when it comes to creating your Movely, you can sign up for a free account and you can create a new move under your moves. So I'm going to create one with you right now. Introduction to Movely. I'm 
as you can see with the free style and um, account to Moodly, you only have the free styles and um, your moves, not the plus and pro styles. But there's still eight, eight styles that are available to free accounts. So you can select an infographic style or a doodle marker style. So I'm just going to select a doodle, doodle marker style. When you first open up your Moobly, you can take a quick tour. We're not going to tour right now because I'm going to walk you through it. You can include various various you can include various graphics from the library. And with those graphics, you can choose an animation. And you can preview that animation by pressing play. So I selected the hand drawing. You can also include text. Introduction to Moodly. I can also choose an animation with this as well. Let's see what it looks like. If you want your animations to align, you can use the timeline to adjust. that overlap too much, so I'll move it a little forward. There are some big ideas that you can utilize in your classes. You can have students tell a story with Moodly. You can have them introduce themselves with the resource or demonstrate a process. Create commercial for your class with Moodly. Have students create a persuasive video such as a PSA. Teach a concept. Have students create a motivational video. Create promotional videos or a, a video invitation with Moodly. Have students participate in a video challenge around a classroom theme or lesson. You can also create a video that highlights your classroom expectations in a memorable way. This is really going to stick with students the content that they create and Moodly. The next tool I have for you is Tuesday. It is a free online graphic organizer tool that provides different options of organizers. You can also create your own. It lets you paste online images, videos, virtual post-it notes, and more onto them, and then you can share your creation with online collaborators. It's a step above Padlet because you're putting that graphic organizer and then having students collaborate on it together. And this will spark creativity and allow students that are struggling see the ideas of others and use them as a springboard. Another creative tool that you can use with your students if you're a math teacher is Function Carnival. And what is Function Carnival? It is a new site that lets you set up virtual classes. It, you can then have students watch videos and then have them create graphs based on what they see. Students watch a video,
they try to graph what they see, and then they play back the video and see how their graphical model would be represented as an animation. Does what they meant to graph about the world actually match the world? Students can really have fun with this, and it gives them this nice visual representation of a math formula. The next tool I have for you is Canva. What is Canva? It's a new tool for creating infographics. And this is a fun concept you can have students do to create visual representations of data. And they have nice templates that students can use to create their infographics and to almost have a blueprint for it to, for them to get started. There are also wonderful visual presentation and communication skills. Then they can use Canva to create a visually pleasing um, digital <laughs> Canva is a wonderful tool to create designs and infographics. Here is the website interface and it's canva.com and there are options to create album covers for podcasts, um, social media, presentation, poster, Facebook covers, blog graphics, a card, um, you name it, they, they really have it as a template available for you. So I'm just going to select poster. And so they're going to give me a bunch of poster layouts. So if I choose this one, I can either select images from the um, library of images. I can also upload my own. So I have my My image here. I'm going to upload more. You can just drag them into the different areas. I noticed that that doesn't fit, so I'm going to look for a different image that does. I could stretch it out. So you can really play around with it. Um, so. An important thing to note is if you just want the free version, not paid, they do have certain images and um, content in their library that does cost a dollar for each item that you use. But there are a lot of free features that are, avail that are available. A lot of um, graphics that you can add on top as well. and. Like I mentioned before, you can upload your own images into it um, to create a really great infographic for your students. And you can even have them, one step further, use this product to create their own infographics because it is a really e free um, for the most part and you just advise your students to use the free content to create infographics for your course. To submit and to submit you can have them download the link and they can either save it as an image or a PDF you they can also give you the link to submit so again another wonderful um, web 2.0 tool that will really enhance creativity um, especially with having them submit different assessments for 
uh, writing and introducing maybe a, an historical figure, you can have them create a Canva describing an historical event, uh, a wonderful poster easy user interface that will really allow students create to create these fun infographics that will inspire them and um, allows them to show off their products. The next tool I have for you is TAC. TAC is a free service that you can use to quickly create simple web pages. Using TAC, you can create a page to announce an important event, to advertise, or to show off your best digital works. To create a TAC page, you actually don't need to register for an account, but unregistered TAC pages expire after seven days. If you register for the service, though, your TAC pages stay up indefinitely. Creating a tag is a simple matter of uploading an image, then adding text in the customizable fields above and below the image. Tag pages can accommodate videos, audio files, and maps. They also have great templates for you to start from, which include class assignment, presentation, book report, lesson plan, and writing an essay. Here are some ideas for the classroom, you can create assignments where students should discuss world problems and find solutions to global issues through social streams used in TAC. You set up for the purpose. Use TAC for creating language learning assignments through citizen journalism projects. Students use TAC to create multimedia news stories. Create speaking practice assignments for assessments. Often students are uninspired by photos and course books and typical speaking questions and props. TAC can visualize and energize the whole experience. Create a collaborative multimedia blog post assignment where all students must add their piece to the social stream with their chosen multimedia. You can also challenge advanced and proficient students with TED Talk video links to challenges and communicative missions to do with speaking, presenting, agreeing, disagreeing, summarizing, converting to other forms of multimedia, etc. The next tool I have for you is ThingLink, and this allows you to create interactive images. ThingLink interactive images help students develop 21st century skills and enrich their enthusiasm for learning. ThingLink works on all modern web browsers. Here are some specific ideas for your classroom. You can create interactive book talks. You can photograph groups of new books or groups of books on a topic or theme, add links to recorded book talks, or ask students to create audio ads or video book trailers for each title and link them to the book cover. You can also make art talk, ask students to record and listen to stories about their artwork or work of famous artists. You can listen to interviews, upload interviews to SoundCloud, and then link to people in an image for example, community helpers, relatives, or veterans. This is a fun way to also create an interactive family tree. It makes the content really come alive for students. Now there is a pairing of ThingLink and TAC, um, where you can give your completed ThingLinks a home on TAC, and the two resources are working together, and coming soon is a one-click TAC creation from completed ThingLinks. And this will allow you to create multiple thing links on one subject and compile them together, or show multiple thing links as examples. You can create a tag to add text, give the backstory or assignment details around your interactive Im image, and you can collaborate using the tag stream to spark dialogue about the assignment. There are great example lessons on a tag board, which is called tag.com backslash board backslash thing link and you can really use this to generate some ideas for your use of both of the resources in your classroom. To finish out I wanted to give you some of my favorite blog sites um, Free Tech for Teachers, Purely Paperless, EdTech Roundup, Higher Innovation, and SpeedofCreativity.org.
I also have my own uh, Weebly where I've compiled some of my favorite Web 2.0 and EdTech resources. So please take a look at it. And that's uh, K O F E L D T S T E C H K I T dot Weebly dot com. I hope you found this to be informative and that it generated some good ideas for you to use these Web 2.0 resources to spark creativity in your classroom.